First, we begin with the exclusive video and story you'll see only here on two. A routine work day turned deadly for a longtime Chicago streets and sanitation worker. The city calls it an accident. The family says it was preventable. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez is in Brighton Park with our top story tonight. Maribel. Yeah, that's right here on this corner, a memorial filled with letters and balloons to honor Edward Bowersox, a beloved waste collector who died here this past October 27th while doing what his family says he enjoyed the most, working and serving his city. Edward Bowersox's family says these are some of the last images they have of him. Moments after this video was taken, they say he was pinned along the fence in this alley near 46 in Sacramento by his co-worker making a turn. They told us at the hospital that his heart exploded in his chest because he was crushed by the truck. You go to work, you don't think that you're going to get crushed while you're at work. The 60-year-old man known to his family as Uncle John is described by his niece Lydia Garcia as a family man with a big sense of humor who loved rock and roll music and his job as a garbage man. He'd been doing it for more than 35 years. I never knew a person who liked to go in rain, shine, snow, sleep, everything. And he wore his car hearts and he just, he went to it. Which is why they are devastated to hear that he died doing what he took pride in. Now it's like when I take out my garbage, it's like I feel sad because I know I'm never going to be able to run out and give him breakfast in the morning from Dunkin Donuts because I know he's going to do my garbage today. The Department of Streets and Sanitation is calling it a tragic accident and says they're investigating what happened. Lydia says they've offered the family $8,000 to cover funeral costs, but she says that's not enough. They're also seeking justice. It was a preventable situation. Your drivers need to watch. You have to need to have more protocols. Like, this is unfair. Like, he didn't work his life for the city for them only to tell us, oh, well, here's $8,000. Thank you. No, it's not right. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to cover those additional funeral costs. Meanwhile, Chicago police telling us they haven't issued any citations at this time. Reporting live in Brighton Park, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Joe, Erica. Maribel, thank you.